Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Java Idol Fruit Tart. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't even remember what the heck this last episode was supposed to be about. And I'm guessing we're not getting an opening either, because, you know, things and reasons and I should see- yeah! Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, they want to do a concert. No, me no. <laughs> Is it a good... I thought it was a good idea because of it, it was Kina Kina! It was sparkling! <laughs> Oh, you all right over there? Okay. <laughs> uh huh. It still would have been nice to put the opening, I'm just saying, but I, I'm guessing they're going to do that thing where the opening plays at the ending-ish, which I do like. Huh? Mm, well, yeah, some people do. Uh, well, remember, she is very friendly and, you know, a lot of people like her. <laughs> Well, yeah, Roko, you are right about that. <laughs> Hold on. For what? Oh God. <laughs> yeah, because this is her hell. Do we have to use handcuffs? Plus, also, the handcuffs look super, super skinny enough that, you know... I mean, okay, Roko has small arms and wrists. I have small arms and wrists as well. 
I mean, you could just put your hand in and out without locking it. Come on now. Take her seriously with that big in her mouth. So you're basically just doing a cover of the song. Okay, well, that makes the most sense. Now you guys sound like a glee club. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is the part where they're going to be wearing maid outfits, right? <laughs> This maid run ish or whatever. No, I don't think so. You'll be fine. Oh, God. Mm hmm. It, please. The tone. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was a little kid. <laughs> well, that's good. Shouldn't you make more though? Holy. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
heck? You might just have to go in the woods. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you gonna have to. I even do that. I was like, that long is that line is too long for this girl to wait. <laughs> Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, God. A exactly. Okay, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do it for the good of the group, Rokal. <laughs> yeah, you can't say no to that now. I know, but yeah, even though you are short as can be, you still look like a little kid despite your age. So, hey, and it make the most sense. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh, that's so cute. Poor Roko. <laughs> oh, he's having to live with her parents for like you poor baby. Oh, that's so cute. There you go, kitty maids. <laughs> You're supposed to be participating in that, like, run thing, right? The marathon? Yeah, but the way it looks censored, mm. yeah. Oh, okay, let's hear it. You didn't want your hair down? Ah. I mean, but still, it suits you, no matter what. Huh? 
seriously, Nina? Oh, so you used to have... Mm, I thought you would mean more your boobs than your shoulders, but okay. <laughs> Who the hell filled soda on the speakers? Uh, okay. I, I don't think so, because there's liquid on it. I mean, something must have happened. Jesus. Broccoli? <laughs> Broccoli! <laughs> Yeah, plus that that soda. That's juice right there. There you go. There's your answer. Ho ho's bro. Ho ho. Hmm. Well, mm, you could just do a cappella. But Ho Ho has the money. Hmm? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh huh. Of course. Oh, and they're nice and pretty too. Excuse me.
Yeah, we still got a long way to go. No. That was cute. That's how we end in it? No, oh, okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> oh, yay! Congratulations! Huh. Okay, final thoughts on the show. This was a really good show. I mean, comparing it to all the other um, Manga Time Kira shows, the, it's still good. It, it's whole, it holds up with the others. There were times where I thought it was going to go one way and it went a completely different route, but I still loved it. I think <laughs> what they did was pretty hilarious. And I don't think we'll ever have it in it. Oh my god. Of course. Of course, Ho-Ho. Of course it did. Well, that's the reason you guys, you know, moved on to the next world. So be fun. <laughs> I mean, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But this was a cute show. I mean, for the 12 weeks that I watched this show, even though I skipped one week and binged the other two together... They were really good episodes. I love these girls, honestly. If I was still playing um, the Kita Fantasy game, I would have loved to initially try to get these girls. It's between them and the girls of Haniyamata because, honestly, like, yeah, this gave me a lot of Haniyamata vibes, except it wasn't, you know, the traditional dancing that they did in Haniyamata. This, this was just, you know, idols. And I, I remember, like, instantly trying to look for a freaking... Um, thumbnail for this show and no matter what I wanted the thumbnail that had everybody together but no matter what I could find uh the jpeg for it was really really small and I'm like oh my god like this is gonna take me forever until I saw the one with Eno and um Nadu from Haniyamata and I was like okay that's it I was like that's the cutest thing because it combines like one of my other personal fave shows that uh, you know has been animated for the Mega Time uh, Kira Fantasy series and stuff. Yeah, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, there were times where I looked at the show and I was like, what the fuck? Where are we going with this? But, I mean, it was cute. I would love for it to have a second season if it got a chance. I think between this and, um, not Laid Back Camp, because Laid Back Camp automatically, yes, that's having a second season that's coming out next week. Um, it's, I think it's Anime Yell? The cheerleading anime? Because that was cute as hell, too. I mean, there are a lot of underrated um, Manga Time Kira series, and then there are really ones that, you know, will excel and get a second season, like, um, oh my god, uh, the the one anime with Alice and Shinobu, or Shino, um, of course, Laid Back Camp, uh, New Game, and so many others that I could name that I honestly really can't remember right now, but yeah, this was a really good show. Honestly, with it, I, I loved it. The singing was cute. I loved the performances and everything. I loved all these damn girls because they're so freaking precious and they're cute and they have to be protective. Roko doing her broccoli thing one last time in this episode was freaking cute because honestly, yes, she is a 17-year-old who doesn't want to be known for that anymore, but no matter what, I mean, this is like celebrities, you know, 
<laughs> no matter how old they'll get, they'll always be known for that breakout role that they did when they were a kid. And even though they'll, they'll tell people, like, no, I don't want to be known for this. You're still going to be known for that no matter what. So, sorry, Roko. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the series Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next week for the start of winter 2021 anime but <clears throat> excuse me happy holidays and i will see you guys all next time bye